Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create and deploy launch a token on base network. Now this is a smart contract I will be giving the contract for free as well will be uploaded to my github so make sure to watch the video until the end so you don't miss any details okay so the first thing we need to do is download my uh, from my github this smart contract which is uh, a pretty simple contract to uh, set up and it has some pretty good uh, features okay so the first thing we want to do here is set the project name which we're gonna do in a second here at the line uh, 476 this is where you start so the first thing we set is project name which is uh, the contracts name so you have to name it after your token after that we skip here and we come here to the constructor where we set our router address the router address this is exactly for base network it's the same you see here so you need to make sure you have this one so you don't you don't get any errors after uh, deploying after that we have the total supply which we can set as much as we want and we have the max buy amount the max sell which we can set these uh, different from each other so you can set the max buy uh, different and the max sell different then we have the max wallet which is as well at four percent all of them are at four percent you also have these comments which can guide you and help you understand uh, what these uh, lines of code do. Okay, then we have the threshold swap amount, which is, uh, I believe it should be uh, like 0.04%. This is when the smart contract will swap tokens it got from the fees and uh, we'll swap them for ethereum and send you the fees in ethereum so it's uh, uh, four percent of one thousand or one thousand divided by four no four divided by one thousand or something like that not good with the math but uh, you can also simply uh, change these both to any amount you want uh, to make it simpler you will also have this function uh, after you deploy and you can set exact amount when the contract should swap for ethereum okay after that we have the buy marketing fees which actually set at seven percent uh, liquidity fees which will be automatically added to the liquidity and the dev fee at zero which you can set uh, at any percentage as well this is the buy fees then we have here the sell fees which you can do the same thing you can set them different from the buy fees and then we have the marketing wallet marketing wallet and uh, the dev wallet are different uh, this is done to separate the taxes if you are going to use for different for marketing and different for dev wallet but you can also set the same uh, you can set the same address after that uh, we have uh, the swap trading which is uh, uh, it's to start the trading and once it's enabled it cannot be uh, turned off so trading can be enabled but it cannot be disabled this is uh, usually after you add liquidity you can uh, enable swap trading but you can also do before after that we have uh, functions to change the fees and uh, 
to change the max transaction, max uh, wallet, etc. This one is uh, update threshold swap amount. So here you can use this to change how many tokens should the contract have in order to swap for ETH. I'm gonna explain that uh, again after we deploy this contract. Then we have here update max transaction, update max wallet, update the fees for the buys and sells. And here we have a, a rule that keeps the fees under 30. So you don't, you cannot uh, set fees higher than 30. But uh, to make this more of a legit project, you can also set this at 10. And then uh, investors will trust you more because they know you cannot set the tax higher than 10. Of course, you will have to uh, set less than 10% tax on buy and sell then. Okay, then we have these uh, simple functions, exclude from fees, exclude from max wallet. And uh, keep in mind, this happened to a lot of my customers. Keep in mind, if you have a smart contract like this for your token, and you plan to develop in the future, like create staking platforms, create games, etc., anything, you should never ever uh, renounce your ownership. Because uh, if you renounce ownership, then when you create a staking platform, people will not be able to stake because of the max transactions uh, and, the ma and the fees. Because the contract will also be affected by the max transaction. Okay, after you set this all up, you can simply go to compiler, make sure it's compiled, then go to deployer, connect your MetaMask, and uh, add the contracts, make sure to select the smart contract uh, we named. So we named our contract project name, so this is the contract that we need to deploy. Okay, uh, I'm going to spend a few dollars just so I can show you guys how to do this. If anyone uh, would like to tip me something, we'll leave uh, my wallet on the description because I'm going to spend like $8 just to to make sure I show you how it's done, how to add the liquidity and everything. More important is to verify the smart contract. Okay, so uh, the contract is deployed. Now we're going to verify the smart contract. Okay, token name as we named it click on contract, verify and publish, solidity single file. Uh, we compiled with, with uh, version 8.9 and the license is MIT. You can see here at the top. Most of you know this already. Okay, then click continue and paste the whole code optimization we didn't use this click I'm not a robot and it is deployed now we're going to see how do we add liquidity also guys if you need a, a smart contract more advanced or different or if you need a staking platform for your uh, project, pre-sale website, simple website or anything, you can reach out to me on Telegram and I can help you with that. Okay, so we copy the contract address, go to Uniswap, click here uh, on the pool, I'm gonna connect our wallet and here we select V2. 
Okay, create a pair Ethereum and we add our token. Okay, as you can see here, it's pretty simple. Now, all you do is uh, click supply and your token will be live to trade. Then here, as I said before, how the smart contract, uh, this swap function works for the contract to swap tokens to ETH is when people trade your token they will pay fees which will go in tokens to the contract balance and the contract when it reaches uh, a certain amount that you set when it reaches a certain amount of tokens it will swap to ethereum and send you the ethereum to the marketing wallet or uh, dev wallet whichever you set so this is it guys thank you for watching and if you need any uh, anything for your project like websites, platforms or anything, just reach out to me on Telegram and we can get stuff done. Thank you and see you in the next video.